As a pastor in the United Methodist Church, I have encountered many of our lay people, members of my congregation and other congregations that I have served, that are very concerned that if changes are made in the discipline concerning ordination of, of homosexuals and, uh, and of pastors who are willing to uh, perform marriages of gay couples, uh, that this will erode the spiritual foundation upon which their faith is based. I believe it would have the practical effect of damaging and even moving towards destroying the peace, purity, and unity of the church. The Reverend Dr. Bethune has taught Hebrew, religion, and Bible at Princeton, Baylor, Southwestern University, and Austin Presbyterian Theological Seminary. Reverend Bethune, you've heard the prosecution's charge that homosexuals are a threat to the church. Can you respond to that charge? Yes, Your Honor. That charge is a lie. Gays and lesbians, bisexual and transgendered persons have been a part of the church for centuries. They have been singing in the choir and playing the organ. They have been preaching the sermons and sharing communion. They have been sitting in the pew and going out to feed the hungry and to house the homeless and to care for the poor. Only for centuries the church has not let them be honest about who they are and welcomed them as a whole person into the life of faith. Your Honor, I've brought with me today this evidence, pictures of members of my own congregation who are deacons and Sunday school teachers. Our church has ordained them because we saw by their lives that they were called of God to care for our people. We ordained them because they were already acting like deacons. They were the ones who were showing up at people's homes with pies in their hands when a family was in grief. They were the ones who were staying after to clean up tables and put up chairs. They were the ones who were going to the people who had lost someone weeks and weeks ago when the rest of the church had forgotten to say, how are you doing? I know it still hurts. But in our churches, which have opened the doors to all persons we have discovered, Gay and lesbian, bisexual and transgendered persons are children of God. And our church was incomplete without them being a part of our fellowship. The people that bothered Jesus the most were those religious leaders who refused to let everyone into God's house, who decided to be gatekeepers of the faith and to turn people away whom God loved. In our tradition, we will turn no one away for whom Christ died, because we know they are beloved of God too, and we have met the face of Christ in their faces. Your Honor, we are delighted to welcome all people into the church, because the church is richer for our gay and lesbian and bisexual and transgendered brothers and sisters being a part of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend. You may step down. The prosecution may now call its witnesses in support of its next charge. <laughs> 